Welcome for the lecture of information storage and retrieval. Today, I will be telling you regarding introductory part of information retrieval. What exactly is the term information retrieval and how information retrieval system is let up build. And before uh, moving towards directly how that system works, before that I am going to tell you regarding comparison of that information retrieval system with the previously learned system like data retrieval and data warehousing and all. Okay. So, to start with this is what is the agenda for discussion of today's lecture. So, we will first of all start with what exactly IR stands for. IR stands for information retrieval. So, what exactly information retrieval means? All of you rather all of us uses search engine system daily on the daily basis. right? So, what do we do in that? We provide the query in the language we want to and the way we want to specify in uh, whichever natural language we want to specify in that way we provide the query or the thing which we want to search in one text box and then in return to that what system gives us is nothing but link of relevant documents with respect to query which we have written in the query box. Alright. So, that sort of system wherein user is allowed to give query in natural language and with respect to query given whichever relevant set of documents are there in the repository which is there in that rep in, uh, search engine system that it gives that kind of system is called as information retrieval system. Basically all of you know that the type of data which is available all over the world falls under two uh, falls under three categories structured semi structured and unstructured data so all of you have learned regarding how the structured data is handled in effective way okay so for that we have learned the database management systems basically to be very specific relational database management system which is capable of handling the data which is of category structured data effectively. Structured means what? The data which we are able to fit in the given structure. So, structure which relational database management system uses is nothing but table. Everything is stored in the form of tabular format that is in the form of rows and columns. If your data is able to fit in that structure appropriately, whichever is predefined in, uh, in advance, in that case you can think of making use of database management systems. Another type of data is semi-structured data which means which is not fully structured but not unstructured. So, before moving to semi-structured I will tell you what is unstructured. The data which we generally use in the, uh, we read in the articles in the books which do not have any specific structure which is written in the natural language is called as unstructured data which is totally which do not have any particular skeleton uh, wherein we need to fit that that kind of data is called as unstructured data. And semi-structured data is what? Semi-structured data is not fully structured and not fully unstructured. For example, we will take into consideration certain web pages all right, or the data which no SQL database management system deals with that sort of data is called as semi-structured data. Basically, you are uh, JSON documents, XML documents, all that sort of data which do not have uh, the restricted table like ta uh, less restricted structure like tables or certain something else. It has certain flexibility as well as it has to have structure. So, that sort of uh, data is called as semi structured data. So, semi structured data can be dealt by data warehousing, data warehousing system as well as your no sql databases no sql databases so these are the two ways using which this sort of data is handled but there was no system which was capable of handling unstructured data but there was there was huge need to have some system with the capabilities to deal with this sort of data and from that in perspective or with that need the system which came into picture is known as information retrieval system. So, it basically deals with whichever unstructured data is available in the form of ebooks, web pages or uh, your articles 
newsletters, everything, whichever is available on www, everything could be handled using information retrieval system. So what exactly is the difference? Now we'll move on to the next point that what exactly is the difference between information retrieval system as well as data retrieval system. So this DR is data retrieval and this is information retrieval. So data retrieval is specifically aligned or it is term regarding the task which is done by database management system. So these are certain points with respect to which we can do the comparison of these two. So first point is type of data it deals with that we, I have already commented on that the type of data which IR deals with is unstructured data whereas in uh, DR specifically deals with structured data all right. Second point is model which it uses model in the sense with what exactly which mo mathematical model is used for computation in both the systems. So data retrieval makes use of all of us have learned that the data retrieval is totally dependent on certain mathematical model. So if it is to be discussed with respect to relational database, it has a deterministic model for storing the data as well as accessing the data, which is relational algebra and relational calculus. So that is uh, instead of commenting directly that this it uh, uses that that this particular model, what we can in what way we can write is the model which data retrieval system uses is deterministic whereas that is not the scenario with respect to information retrieval system it makes use of probabilistic model okay it keeps on predicting it applies certain sort of predictions for finding out the results third is user interaction language for interacting with the data retrieval system we need to learn the language which is meant for uh, that particular data retrieval system so if we will take into consideration relational databases in that case the language using which we in, we are able to interact with the data retrieval systems is nothing but SQL wherein whatever syntax is specified given for uh, interaction with the database for doing certain operations in that particular query language itself we need to write everything which uh, uh, for doing certain tasks. But that is not the case with respect to the information retrieval system. We can pass the query, we can write the query in any natural language. Nowadays it is supporting all the natural, almost all the natural language or widely spoken natural languages. All right. So this is what is regarding this point. And one more thing regarding querying in data retrieval system, whatever you want to write, whatever you want to fetch from the data, whichever operation you want to perform with respect to databases, the query should be specific and complete. Whereas that is that sort of restriction is not allowed in the information retrieval sy system, query can be partial even though you will not write anything in the form of sentence that would be fine. Even you will write one word or two word in the query box, it is going to give you answer in return. That is what is the point regarding user interaction language. Next point is searching method. So searching method in data retrieval to fetch the data uh, regarding the query which is passed by any user, any programmer. In that case exact matching is to be done in case of data retrieval. Whereas that is not the case in information retrieval. It checks for the set for relevant documents. It does not check whether the particular document is containing all the words whichever are mentioned in the query. Okay, that is why it is called as exact matching is required in case of DR whereas partial matching is required in case of IR. Then display of output. The way output is displayed in case of data retrieval is always in terms of table you know, or one record in that way. It, it depends on the query which is written. Whereas in information retrieval, data is not given in the some sort of structured format. It gives you links of relevant documents. So whichever document that information retrieval system has identified as a relevant set of documents, it gives you ranked set of that documents ordered in certain way with certain logic. Then last point for comparison is accessibility. So obviously accessibility in the sense the users which uh, which are which wants to make use of the DR or IR has to have certain capability or not. So if we will take into consideration DR yes it has to have right 
the programmer I mean if directly the interaction is to be done with the databases in that case one must have understanding of querying language SQL should be known for writing the query. I am not talking about lay user who are directly using clients or customers but intermediate users I am speaking about whereas in information retrieval that is not the scenario anyone can use even they are not aware of the uh, technical things right. So, this these are what the comparison points. Now, we will move on to the next point which is block diagram of information retrieval system. So, what that block diagram specifies that how exactly information retrieval system works. So, how it works basically it has to user has to pass queries to the information retrieval system or you may call that as a search engine and that search engine already have some document repository with it which is organized or which is pre-processed and maintained in some way so that whatever query is passed by user will be accessible and which uh, computation are to be applied with respect to queries that would be applied on that intermediate representation created with respect to document repository it has all right. So, what it does it accepts the query it refers the document repository. So, what document repository is going to have all the data available on internet ideally which we are considering search engine in that case it is going to work in that way. So, already the documents are pre-processed. So, how that pre-processing is required to be applied how the things can be carried out in efficient way all that how which algorithms are required to be applied that we will be learning in the subject. But for now what you need to assume the repository it has pre-processed in some way and it takes help of that repository and finds out relevant documents out of the repository with respect to query which is passed by user and generates output. So, output is always going to be in the form of set of relevant documents. So, set of relevant documents means what on one page it is going to display links of web pages or documents ordered in some way applied with certain logic. And ideally it is expected that the system is accepting feedback of user for if rectification of uh, in the working of the system while ranking the uh, set of documents is required or not. In that aspect ideally user feedback is taken into consideration by information retrieval system. So, this is what is regarding block diagram of information retrieval system. I hope you have understood what are the basics of information retrieval. Thank you.